Greetings everyone, Raymond Lacoste here with Stormwind Studios and I have some really great news for everybody. I just passed my Cisco CCNA certification exam. That's right, the brand new Implementing and Administering Cisco Solutions 200-301 certification exam and I passed with flying colors which makes me really, really happy. So I thought I'd give everybody an update on this particular certification exam based on my experience without breaking the Cisco non-disclosure agreement I signed before the certification exam. All right, so what are the things I want to point out to you? Well, the exam topics on Cisco's website states that we are dealing with a 120-minute exam. That is two hours, folks. It does not tell us how many questions we are going to get on the exam or the types of questions we are going to get on the exam. Therefore, I really can't tell you that. However, let me tell you this. I pretty much only had a minute and 15 to a minute and 30 seconds to answer each and every single question, right? Based on my ability to read and answer questions as quickly as I could. So that can kind of give you an idea of how many questions you are expected to answer. When it comes to the types of questions, well, before the exam, Cisco is going to tell you exactly the types of questions you will receive on the exam. And what I want to point out to you folks is that you should never, ever base your exam preparation on the types of questions you are going to get. I know many of you are wondering, well, am I going to get testlets? Am I going to get simulations? Am I going to get simlets? Am I going to get drag and drops? Am I going to get multiple choice single answer, multiple choice multiple answer? You know what? It doesn't matter, folks. Why doesn't it matter? Because no matter what the style of question is, you want to be prepared for all of them no matter what. Right? It doesn't matter. So if you show up to the exam and it's 100% simulation questions, well, are you going to prepare any differently than you would if the exam was 100% multiple choice? I wouldn't. I'd prepare the exact same way. Why? Because if I'm ready for simulations and I get none, that means I should be able to answer every single multiple choice question based on my pre preparation for simulations. So the idea here is you should prepare for the worst case scenario. What does that mean? You want to spend the time to learn the theory, understand all of these different topics and concepts that you can, in as much detail as you possibly can. And our course, our videos, our live sessions are full of details, folks, that'll prepare you for this certification exam and more. That's right, and more. When you leave the CCNA exam with your score report and it says that you were successful, you can be confident knowing that you even know more then this particular certification exam is testing you on. That should be a really, really great feeling. And it should give you the confidence knowing that here at Stormwind Studios, we are taking not just your interest in the certification exam. Seriously, we are taking your interest in a career in the real world as a networking professional seriously as well. What else do you want? You also want to make sure that you practice. How do you practice with hands-on labs? We're going to hook you up with hands-on labs to get you ready for these various topics. And then last but not least, you want to build confidence by doing practice questions. Now, the practice questions aren't there for you to see, well, do I know it or do I not know it, right? That's one thing. And it's not there for you just to memorize answers. That's not what it's about. Our practice exams are there to help you Solidify your knowledge. And how do you solidify your knowledge? You read a question, you formulate an answer, and then you see if you're right. If you're right, great, but you don't stop there. You now analyze each wrong answer option and you explain to yourself or your friends or your colleagues or your wife or your children why they are wrong. Why? Because that will help you solidify that information, so make it, make it knowledge that you can then extract on the certification exam. Okay? So it's about making sure you have, first of all, the right information to begin with. The theory, the education, those are our videos. With me live or not live, doesn't matter. It's the same information. What's next? Practice with hands-on labs. We got that covered for you. And lastly, practicing with exam practices or practice exams <laughs> to make sure that you are ingraining and embedding 
that information, understanding why something's right and understanding why everything else is wrong for each and every single question. So when you take a practice exam, like I, I always do, I never, ever, ever use a timer. I sit there on a question until I know 100% why it's correct and why it's incorrect. And you know what? I will even do research as well. I will go to my favorite search engine and I will do research on that question to make sure I understand why it's correct versus incorrect when I do practice exams. Why? It's the only way you get better, folks. It's the only way you are going to make a difference in the real world when you are out of this certification exam. So the, the paper, the paper can get you your promotion. The paper can get you a job. But you know what, folks? You want to excel in that job. And that's what we're going to give you here at Stormwind Studios. So let's look at some of these topics here. Network fundamentals, right? These are the basics, folks. Like what is a router? What is a switch? What is a next-gen firewall? What are access points? What are endpoints? What are servers? What are different types of architectures? Uh, TCP, UDP, IP, V4, IPv6, Wi-Fi as well in here. And then as we dive deeper into network access, VLANs and trunks, and then we have topics like CDP and Ether channel and spanning tree protocol and more wireless. And then we have IP covered, so routers, how they function, how they operate, how they make decisions. And then we have OSPF V2. And we haven't even gotten into network uh, IP services and security fundamentals or automation and programmability. But then again, NAT, NTP, DHCP, DNS, SNMP, Syslog, QoS, SSH, TFTP, FTP, and so much more as we keep going down through it. So folks, how do you get ready for this exam? How do you get ready for the real world? In the the same way. That's right. There is no difference between exam and real world. Take the time, learn all the theory, practice that theory with hands-on labs, take your practice exam. And we are going to help you do that at Storm and Studios. And I'm going to be your guide along the way. I'm going to be your guide along the way. While you're taking class, if you have any questions live, you can ask it live in the chat interface. If you have questions outside of class, that's okay. Use the Ask a Mentor option. That email comes to me, folks. That's right. It comes to me. Therefore, you are going to get help outside of class from me, the actual instructor, your guide, the one that's helping you. So folks, this course, as you can see, is or this exam is balanced. Right? Look at the percentages. Yes, there's more of network fundamentals. There's more of network access. There's more of IP connectivity. But if you notice, there's really nothing that overwhelms the exam. There's like no 45% section or 50% section, which means you must know a little bit about everything. And we'll get you ready for the a little bit about everything for the exam, but then a whole lot about a lot for the real world. All right, folks, I'm going to leave it at that. As I said, I'm on a high right now, passing the CCNA exam, right? Uh, I should, I should anyways, right? Being an instructor of CCNA for so many years and CCNP classes, but you never know. You never know what to expect, but I'm very, very thrilled with this exam. I'm happy with this exam. It's not perfect. There are a few flaws in it, but that is okay, folks. That is okay. We will help you get through everything so you can pass on the first try. So folks, keep up the great work. Looking forward to seeing you in CCNA and any other sessions we have here at Stormwind Studios. So pick and choose what training you need. Join us and let's have some fun together. Take care, folks, and bye for now.